Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 88 on SO exam P, so we'll pause the video real quick and try to spawn yourself. Okay, as a mere template, let's just dive right in. So they say for the a good driver, the exponential it is exponentially distributed. For a good driver, it's exponentially distributed with a mean of 6. And for a bad driver, it's exponentially distributed with a mean of 3. We know for exponential function, the probability distribution function is equal to 1 over lambda e to the negative t over lambda. So for g, it must be equal to 1 over 6 e to the negative, I'm going to say good, for g over lambda, which is 6. And then for bad driver, it's going to be the same, 1 over 3e e to the negative t. But then these t values are different, so I'm going to call this one b2, b to b over 3. And this should be lowercase g, actually. And then so, and then we know that these are independent, right? Independent. So we can actually, for independent functions, the f of g comma b will just be equal to f of g times f of b. So in our case, it's going to be 3 times 6, 18, e to the negative g over 6 times e to the negative b over 3. And we're asked to find what is the probability that the good driver will file in 3 years and bad driver will file within 2 years. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. So if we're integrating respect to good drivers, let's start that first. The upper limit's going to be 3. And our function is going to be right here, 1 over 18, e to the negative g over 6, e to the negative b over 3, dg. And for bad drivers, it's going from 0 to 2, because it's saying within, so it has to be less than the 2, and the less than the 3, so this is what we get. If we're integrating respect to g, so then 1 over 18, e to the negative b over 3 is a constant. Taking the derivative here, you get this is equal to negative 6 e to the negative g over 6, right? Integrating this from 0 to 3. I'm going to throw that negative 6 outside, and you get negative 1 over 3, e to the negative b over 3 on the outside. Plugging in 3 here, you get e to the negative 1 half minus, when I plug in 0, you just get 1, so this is what it's equal to. And then the outer shell still stays the same, 0 to 2. So I'm going to plug that in, you get negative 1 third e to the negative b third plus one half minus minus that's positive one third e to the negative b third and, and we're integrating respect to db zero to two cool so then taking the antiderivative <laughs> this one right here is just going to give you positive one e to the negative b over three plus one half and right here is also going to give you a negative one e to the negative b over three integrating this from zero to two Plug in the upper limit, you get negative e to the negative 2 thirds plus 1 half minus e to the negative 2 thirds minus, pl plugging in 0 here, you get e to the negative 1 half plus e to the 0 here is just going to be 1. Okay, okay, we can simplify this down. So this is right here, e to the negative 7 6 minus e to the negative 2 thirds minus e to the negative 1 half plus 1. Is that what we have? Is that one of the choices? Oh, yes it is. It is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!